What's going on? You're watching NFL Daily by Chat Sports. Mitchell Renz here, ready to break down the final AFC playoff picture and really look at all those awesome matchups for the wild card round. But before I do all of that, I got to give a special shout out and some love to today's sponsor, Manscaped. They're making this awesome t-shirt that I got on, but also they're trying to make your guys' lives a little bit easier. If you want the best male grooming products on the market, maybe your girlfriend can get you them for Christmas. Maybe Santa didn't bring you anything. I got you covered. Go to manscaped.com slash chat, 20% off and free shipping. All right, y'all. Let's look at the current AFC playoff picture. This is it. This is final. This is done. The number one seed. The Kansas City Chiefs finished their season with a 14-2 record. The Buffalo Bills, 13-3. The Pittsburgh Steelers, 12-4. Tennessee Titans, 11-5. The teams that you see on the division leaders, guess what? They won their division. For the wild card, you got the Ravens, the Browns, the Colts, the team that was 10-5, the odd team out, the Miami Dolphins, and then you can see all the wild card games. But hey, guess what? We'll get to all those in just a second. The main question on this video who is going to win the AFC? I mean, this is a division that there's been a lot of teams that you've seen some ups and you see some downs. The Chiefs, probably the favorites, but Buffalo, you can make the argument that's playing just as good, if not the best football in the entire league. Also a team like the Ravens, they're rolling. I'll tell you what, they're winners of five straight games. I wouldn't want to run into them. Pittsburgh's got a great defense. You also got a team like King Henry and the Titans. Ryan Tannehill's been fantastic. Henry ran for over 2,000 yards. There's a lot of teams that I'm just saying right now to the AFC. So go down in the comments. Let me know who's going to win the AFC. Let's first talk about the number one seed, Kansas City Chiefs, the only team that will not see play next week. Remember, the new playoff rule, seven teams now get in from the AFC and seven teams from the NFC, and only one team gets a bye, unlike two teams last season. So... The Chiefs have secured the number one seed, which is the main reason why they basically rested all their starters in Week 17. Sure, they ended up losing to their AFC West rival to the Chargers, 38-21, but if you actually watch the game, nobody played. And the main guy that didn't play was this man right here, Patrick Mahomes. So imagine, 4,740 yards, 38 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. That came and basically... 15 games of work. Mahomes has been fantastic. He's by far the number one reason why this team is the number one seed. Now, I don't know if he's the MVP. I might actually give that to my man Aaron Rodgers. But if you want to talk about MVPs, the MVP in the male grooming game, it's Manscaped. And they're hooking up every guy on today's show. Seriously, if you come across this video and you're like, wait a minute, where's Manscaped? What is it? I got you covered. Go to manscaped.com slash chat, 20% off. And you're going to get free shipping using promo code CHAT. My favorite product is the one that you see on screen, the Lawn Mower 3.0. This thing's got an eight-hour battery life. You can use it in the shower. And I almost wish I could point over and show you that light at the very, very end that you see in the guy's hands. Seriously, there's a light on the end of it. So when you're, like, doing one of these numbers here, you're going like that, you can see what's going on. That's what's amazing about these products. Manscaped.com slash chat, 20% off. Use code chat. I'll put that link for y'all in the comments and in the description. I think I just broke producer Sam. All right, y'all. Let's look at the playoff picture one more time. We're going to go from game to game. We're going to talk about all the games that happened in week 17. And then I'm going to tell you who's going to win this upcoming week. So let's first start at the number two seed, the Buffalo Bills. They are now 13-3. and three. And if you want to talk about a team that took care of business, Wow. If you're a Dolphins fan, if you're under the age of 18, close your eyes right now because this is probably really hard to see. When I tell you crush, I mean absolutely crush Miami, 56-26. There was never in doubt who was the better team in this one, and that ultimately led to the Dolphins not making the playoffs. Let's look at the team, though, the Bills are going to have to end up going up against. It's the Indianapolis Colts who avenged their Week 1 loss. Yes, Jacksonville, 15-game losing streak <laughs> to end the season. Indy. Wasn't really a pretty one. Jonathan Taylor was the main guy in this one. Obviously, 253 yards, two touchdowns on 30 carries. The rookie out of Wisconsin continues to show that he might be one of the better young running backs we've seen in quite some time. But 28-14, which then brings us to this. You got the Indianapolis Colts going on the road to Buffalo to take on Josh Allen. Phillip Rivers, Josh Allen. It's not really the matchup I expected, but as well as Allen's played, I know I mentioned a guy named Mahomes for MVP earlier. Josh Allen deserves to be in that conversation. The only issue here for the Bills is look at their last five playoff games. I mean, guys, they haven't won a playoff game since 1995. Fun fact, 
I was two years old the last time Buffalo ended up winning. So you go back to 2019, 2017, 99, 98, 96. Can Buffalo finally snap this five-game losing streak? Personally, I think they can. So who you got? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to type BUF. There is not a team that I would want to play less than Josh Allen, than this Buffalo Bills team. Their defense is there. Their running game is there. Josh Allen, the addition of Stephon Diggs, how much he's helped just that offense click. I mean, Indy is a fun team to watch. They're one of the most physical teams. The only the issue is you got to go to Buffalo to beat Josh Allen, and probably the hottest team in the NFL right now. So type IND for the Colts or BUF for the Bills. I'm going to type my BUF. Now, this is our AFC playoff picture video. If you guys want to see an NFC playoff picture video, hit that big red button that says subscribe. So here at Chat Sports, we're always trying to keep you guys updated on the latest news and rumors. We try to have fun as well. We go live Monday, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. But guess what? If you want more videos, hit that big red button that says subscribe because I guarantee you we're going to have an NFC playoff picture video coming out real soon. All right, we'll go back to this. Number three seed, the Pittsburgh Steelers at 12-4. and four. Remember, this team was undefeated 11-0, and they have not been playing solid football at the end of the games and at the end of the stretch of the season. Week 17, they lose 24-22 against the Cleveland Browns. No Ben Roethlisberger in this one, and actually it was a lot closer than what I ever thought it was going to be. 24-22, the Steelers, they ended up going for two. Failed, Browns were able to clear out the clock, but luckily for us, we're going to get to see this matchup again this week here. But this time it's going to be Ben Roethlisberger. This time it's going to be Baker Mayfield, the two starting quarterbacks. We're going to get to see a great defense going up against, I was going to say one of the best running backs in the league, Nick Chubb. But he's he's probably, what, the third best guy behind Dalvin Cook, behind a guy like Derrick Henry even. But an AFC matchup, AFC North matchup. And the first time that these two teams played, absolute blowout. Pittsburgh took care of business. Second time is a lot closer. Well, now it's going to be a best of three series, so let me know down there in the comments section who you got. Type CLE for the Cleveland Browns. Type PIT for the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is the Cleveland Browns' first playoff appearance since 2002. Yeah, 2002. Let me know how old y'all were when that happened. As much as I think that Pittsburgh is not playing their best football, I'm probably going to end up going with the Steelers if I'm wrong. Y'all can find me. I'm on IG. I'm at Mitchell Renz 365 Let's go to the last and final wild card matchup. This might be one of the ones that I'm most excited about. The Baltimore Ravens, the five seed. They're traveling to Tennessee to take on the Titans. And if I'm Baltimore, and if I'm a Ravens fan, if I'm Lamar Jackson, I'm sitting there like, okay, I get, I get some revenge time because last season, Tennessee is the team that kicked out Baltimore in a game that nobody thought that they could win. King Henry ran all over him. And then that was that whole, you guys remember Taj Day Sharp at the end of the game, like, big trust, what up? They were making fun of Mark Ingram. Here's a revenge game. I play that tape. I inspire Baltimore, and they're going to come ready to play. And, I mean, for Tennessee, the Week 17 game was not a very good one. This was a game that was 38-38. They found a way to end up win. They clinched the AFC South, but by no means was it a pretty game. And if I'm Baltimore, I'm saying, okay, we can't let Derrick Henry run the ball down our throats. But speaking of Baltimore, five-game winning streak, playing basically some of their most soft football that you've seen all year. And if you like old school, tough type of football, like football where it's not throwing a lot, they're just going to pound it down your throat and you want to see some running and some physicality, then you do not want to miss this wild card matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the Tennessee Titans. I mean, this is going to be a game where it's going to be run, run, and if you thought there was going to be a pass, it's going to be some more running. And I can't wait to see both of these 11-5 and five teams and these are two teams that I'm telling you right now, I would not want to run into them because when they're hot, there's probably two of the toughest teams to beat in the entire league. So let me know who you got type BAL for the Baltimore Ravens or type TEN for the Tennessee Titans. Normally, if this was a normal playoff game and you could see a lot of fans there, I would go with the Titans at home field advantage. But I'm actually going to go with the Ravens. I think they're playing some pretty solid football. I think it's going to be a revenge game. So I'm going to take the Baltimore Ravens in this one. So before I leave you, I want you to look down there at the wild card games. Number two, Buffalo versus number seven, Indy. Number three, Pittsburgh versus number six, Cleveland. Number four, Tennessee versus number five, Baltimore. Before you go, let me know which game you are interested in the most. If I had to rank them, the game that I want to see the most is actually Buffalo against Indy. Number two is Tennessee versus Baltimore. And then last, and honestly, it's not even close, Pittsburgh 
versus Cleveland. If you disagree with me, yell at me on Instagram at MitchellRents365. And if you made it this far in the video, go ahead, hit that big red button that says subscribe.